Yo, 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 it's your boy Swag, and I'm back. And um, it's a lot going, it's a lot going on. So I just want to say this because it's been on my mind for a while, but I think it's it's about time for me to say it that Chief Keith is the goat of drill because he's spreading it worldwide, but he also is the smartest drill rapper since drill started. The man started something. That's hurting our own people and probably people that's picking up on it. But it doesn't affect him at all. <laughs> Why it doesn't affect Chief Keith? Because he's moved away from it all and left it behind. That's what all these other rappers can't do. This was inspired by Lil Say or something. He just got into a SWAT situation. He already had a case in New York for where they said he supposedly had a gun. And now he's arrested for two AK-47s and four pistols out on bond for another pistol case in another state. I don't know what's going to happen to him, but back to the subject. Chief Keith blew up, got snaked by his guys, moved to Cali, took who he was going to take with him. Friends with who he's going to be friends with. And he definitely said, fuck the streets. Um, when I say fuck the streets, I mean being in the streets. Hanging out. Partying. Going to local clubs, bars to kick it. Hanging in the hood with people that got bounties on their head. Or who may have shot at somebody so now niggas want them dead. And if he do hang with him, it ain't in Chicago. I can't, I, I really can't understand why all these rappers get the money they get. I do understand because it's not easy to just get money and live where you want to live. But how do they get this high amount of money and not invest it to where they have the income coming in once a month to where they can move from Chicago and still continue to put out music? Not only did she keep Cut out the streets. He also cut out the industry that made him have ties with people in the industry. That 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 was very important for his life also. He cut ties with the industry. He's the only rapper. I can't say he's the only rapper. But he's the only drill rapper that started doing the process of where it was still CDs being sold and the streaming area coming together. So he's the reason why streaming is the way it is. Because he was like literally like... The first major artist to come underneath the YouTube and make millions of views without the industry, without the industry, without no famous people, without being around nobody, without no mentionings, none of that. He did that on his own. So in return, he's still able to make streaming money now. And he said, fuck selling CDs to them. He didn't want to do what they wanted him to do. And we already know, like, um, if you're conspiracy theories, what goes on in the industry and how you use a puppet. You know? So, it's like, he really, is. is he really, he really, he really, like, man, hands down, like, Keith really, that nigga. That goat. The smart man. A lot of you rappers better start getting smart, man. And stop being fucking soldiers and be bosses. Because bosses don't get involved in petty shit. They have soldiers go handle that shit. Bosses tell people how they feel. And then the generals get in contact with the soldiers. And they make it happen. The only time the boss makes something happen is when it's unedible. And I think the situation with a say or someone or someone. Summer was something that he could have prevented from himself traveling in Chicago with guns if he thought like a boss. Think like a boss, fellas. Think like a boss. Think like an emperor. Think like that. Think like you're a king. Think like you running shit. When you running shit, you was the last man to touch down unless you have to. For the Rolexes, he didn't have to risk it all. Because guess what? Because now his kids ain't going to see him. He ain't going to have the money coming in. All these niggas going to forget about him in four, five years. They're going to be screaming, free this nigga. If they say, free this nigga. Shit fucked up, man. Y'all better wisen up. Y'all better look at things that Keith did because he did it the right way. Y'all want to do rituals and diss the dead like he did. Y'all niggas want to do this drill shit like he did. Be smart and change your life like he did. Why is that so fucking hard for you niggas to do? Stupid.